Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Womp. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's try on our new Beautylish Lucky Bag products along with some other stuff that came in that's new and I thought I would do uh, like an about me chat while we do that because I've got a lot of new subscribers. I've got folks that have subscribed in the last few months, few weeks. And so I thought, let me tell you a little bit of the tea about me while we get ready so that, you know, you can know more, I guess, question mark, if that interests you. Um, we This is a dress and it is from Carolina Dress Room. It's a UK brand. I also enjoy Topsy Kirby. They make the same types of dresses that are like super stretchy, have pockets, super cute. Um, I live in the United States. This is a UK brand, so shipping is unbelievable and not the fault of the brands. So just letting you know that if you do live outside of the UK, prepare for shipping. But other than that, it's the coolest thing ever. Um, I try to have to, I mean, I kind of have to uh, limit myself on how many dresses I order because I love them. So, Beautylish Lucky Bag was a win. I have a few products that were skin carry, hair carry things. We're not gonna put those on because I've already put on skincare and sunscreen. But I will say I've tried the beautiful Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Light Cream thing. It does have SPF 20. Thank you for somebody telling me there's SPF in it. There is. That's not enough for me because I am a pale princess with, you know, familial connections to melanoma, if you will. So I put on much higher SPF, but this is a wonderful moisturizer. I like it very much. I would never pay this amount of money for this thing, but I am super stoked that I have to try it have it to try it. There's, I'm just dropping words today. So if you're on fast forward, good luck. I'm already at two times the speed currently. So uh, you're just compounding it. Let's, let's get started. Um, I got, let's see, I have a blush, a highlighter. I've got a face palette. I'm going to also use a face palette, an eye palette. I'm going to also use that for my brows. So let's pick up some products that I need to use anywho over here. I got new stuff like piled over here. We are definitely going to try the new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream because that is new to me. And Mama hasn't even um, ripped it out of its box like a savage. There she is. I got it in the shade Fair 12C. If you, I made it. If y'all are new here, that's a trash can. And when my husband loves me, you can tell because it's been emptied. If we're in a fight or a tiff or he's abandoning me, it hasn't been emptied. It's been emptied. But next to it, which you can't see off camera and you must trust that I tell the truth, is my recycle bin. And so sometimes I miss. But I just made it in. Um, it's also got quite a bit in there. So maybe he doesn't love me. I actually know he asked me yesterday if it was full and I said no, but I was downstairs and it is full. So I lied to him. Let's put on a primer. I've been using the e.l.f. Um, poreless putty primer and I got a little baby and the consistency of this one is different than the one I actually purchased. Like when it first came out, this is way creamier. So maybe I just got one that was like dry. I don't know. Um, it's really nice. I've been using it like on the places on my face that have noticeable pores and then I do my little glowy like liquid highlighter or glowy primer over top and I've been liking that it's just a little a little something something you know that's been nice do I have a glowy primer out here I don't know um if I don't I'm not actually trying to use one up but Oh, let's use this really cool, this cool one that I just got from Catrice. The Endless Pearls. I did a full face of Catrice um, because I had new stuff from them. And I really liked this primer. The little pearls like pop, burst, what word? It doesn't sound disgusting. Um, explode. I don't, it's all bad. So anyway, they are no longer in pearl form by the time it comes out of the pump. But it's a nice little glowy primer. I like glowy. 
underneath every foundation, whether it's supposed to be matte or glowy, we extra glowy. So I don't mind looking like a tin man. I know some people might think that that would be a negative thing. For me, it's not a negative thing at all. It's actually goals. So I like that. I like that little primer. Plus it's nifty looking. If you have like a, a phobia of things suspended in gel, I would say no to that one. Let's use this. And we're gonna use my fancy makeup palette. Y'all, if y'all are new here, this is what it's like. It's a Bath and Body Works candle lid that is probably older than you are. And I use it as a makeup palette because it works. <laughs> and it's easy to clean. And I have never bought a makeup palette. One day, when I make it big, I don't mean like in the makeup world. I mean like where I can afford the fancy cheese. I'll buy a makeup palette when I can afford fancy cheese. The cheese is like an example of luxury product. You know what I mean? When I was broke in college, cheese was like... You made it if you had cheese in your fridge. Now I have like a whole cheese drawer. So my, you know, keeping up with the Joneses escalation bar is different because we ain't living without cheese around here. We live without a lot of things, but cheese is not one of them. This is fair. One, two, five C of the Elf Hydrating CC Cream. I heard this was not great. It does have SPF 30, which we also love. The more SPF, the better around here. I wasn't joking about the <laughs> but I am... I'm constantly um, aware that the the more the merrier for me. So I'm down for SPF and a product. If you don't like that, that's not for you. I'm going to schmooze it on with a brush, which is what I normally do. And it's not clean. And then I'm going to go over it with a sponge. As we talk about me. Okay, my name's Leanne. A lot of people sometimes when they first come to my channel um, have questions about like, normal things and then we get into the the other things so i'll just preemptively strike and tell you some things and then if you have other questions just tell me down below and i'll answer them or i'll make another video and answer them just depends um if it's interesting enough to me to talk about i don't know i typically come on here and do get ready with me's and just run my mouth about whatever but today i have a purpose can you imagine so let's see if it works this is not a full coverage product for sure. I can tell you that right now. I mean, out of the gate. We might be able to build it, but we'll see. So first, let me tell you a little bit about why I'm here on the YouTubes. One, <laughs> one thing about me is that I, there's many things about me. I am uh, a late starter to makeup. So I did not come to makeup in a traditional way. I didn't wear, I wore hardly any in high school and college. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't really know how. I was very interested in it, but didn't really know a lot um, about it and didn't really have anyone in my life that wore makeup that I would say, I want to wear makeup like you, show me how you do that. Um, I do remember commenting to someone I went to high school with that her lashes were unbelievable. And I had, I was just, she was just, A, she's gorgeous. B, her lashes. And I was like, how do you get, how do you get your lashes to look like that? And she blinked and went, cover girl mascara. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I probably had the same mascara too for three years. You know, the, it, I came by my eye infections, honestly, you know what I mean? But it is, it's, it was with the, my, my discovery of YouTube, which was probably later than others, but maybe earlier than other people, um, that I began to use YouTube to learn about makeup products, tools. i would had no concept of brushes. I had no concept of undertones. I had none of that. I knew nothing. And so I began to learn. I am a person that values knowledge and learning and like a lot, lot. Like I used to teach high school. I'm a lifelong learner and an educator. And so I totally fell for a platform that would, all I had to do was search and someone would teach me about that thing. <sighs> That's like amazing. And so I've used YouTube for years to teach me all about all kinds of things. Um, it is probably 
way, way up there in the the number, like the top entertainment things in my life. YouTube is almost number one, if not number one. And it might come right after books. It's real high up there. I watch YouTube every day almost. And I always go to sleep to YouTube. That may sound weird to you, but I do. I turn off the picture on my television and just have the sound. And I always fall asleep to YouTube. And so have learned all kinds of things about all kinds of things and love it. I absolutely love it. Not only for product recommendations, which is one of the first pieces of, of the puzzle that I put together was what products I would want to use or learn more about. It was really about the technique of putting it on my face and what goes where and how much and all that jazz. This is actually not bad. This is not bad cover, just one good layer. I don't know that I would build this up anymore. I'm gonna put a tad more on my chin, like the tiniest squoosh, um, and then we're gonna call it. The sponge that I'm using is from AOA Studio. It is their peach mochi sponge. It's a $2 sponge from shopmissa.com. It is one of my favorite places to shop for things. This sponge is fabulous. It's so good. It is damp. So you run it under the water and then you squeeze it out and then it becomes this massive, beautiful, wonderful, soft, amazing thing. Love it so much. Okay, so far, I am really actually liking this. I heard a review yesterday that somebody's like, it just sits on top of the skin. It's terrible. It does not to me. It does not to me. That looks really cool. Nice. The color's not too bad either, which I'm down for. Nice. All right. Let's do, I have a new concealer, y'all. This is going to be yeller. And I don't know that I want to draw yeller today. <laughs> so I'm going to put her down. This is the new L'Oreal True Match. I got it in C1 light. Why is she absolutely banana? I don't understand that. I'll do that on another day when I'm feeling more froggy than I am today. Let's use a combo of some of our stuff that we're panning. Um, I am going through some products that are in my collection that have been here since the dinosaurs walked the earth. And one of them is the Benefit Erase Paste, which is now no longer even called this in the pot. Uh, but this is the number one fair shade. It's just a little pinky peachy, like, um, color corrector. Mama's got hereditary under eye darkness, darkness, darling. And, um, so we're going to, we're going to color correct. I don't color correct every day, but you know, why not? If we're, if I'm meeting new people here on my channel, why not try to put my best under eye bag forward? Why not? And we're going to cover it up with a concealer that we're panning, which is the Kat Von D Locket, not KVD. This is even before that. This is the Locket concealer that we're, we are panning. It is lost components of itself. We are in a mess, but we're still using it. Because one of the major reasons why I started a channel for YouTube, A, I started a channel for YouTube because I don't, in my life, my real life, there's a couple things that caused me to do this. One, I'm an introverted person. You might not believe that if this is our only interaction because it seems like I am willing to talk and interact and energetic and all that, I am. And I, I love making videos. One of the things that I love is that I'm by myself when I do this. <laughs> uh, save for the few videos where I've had guest stars on uh, my channel. And by stars, I mean like my family. And we've had a great time. But this is something that I can do when I have the energy to do it. And the, I'm not obligated to do this because this is not my job. And I just do this for fun and to talk to y'all about makeup and to hear from y'all about makeup. I don't have someone in my life that loves makeup like I do. Like to this disturbing, I have a room in my house level. It's not really disturbing. It is to some people, I think, but to me, it's not. It's absolute joy. And everybody that comes to my house wants to see the makeup room, and I totally get it because I have a makeup room. But it's also like the happiest room in my house, except for the library, which I'll put some pictures of my library at some point in this video so that you can see that. 
because that's fun. Anyway, I really like makeup and I like talking about makeup and I don't really have a, like, you know, a bunch of people that like that. And so I created a channel to be able to meet people and talk about makeup. And I have. Some of y'all have been subscribed for a long time and we've been hanging out for a long time on the internet and I would consider you to be my friend. And some of y'all are new and are thinking, this is weird. I know. Yeah. Hi. Welcome. Um, and we can be friends or, or you can just sit there and lurk. I don't care. It's okay. I have lurked on some channels for a very long time. And there are some channels that I talk to the creator online because it, I like that. Also, I've met one YouTuber in real life and I've talked about her on one video. She was working in my local Ulta and she wasn't, when I watched her, she's no longer on YouTube anymore. But when I watched her videos, and I watched them years ago, like, she was amazing. I walk into Ulta, and I look at this person, and I'm like, I, I know, I know her. I know her. She doesn't know me. I know her. And I was so, like, nervous that I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything at all. I would just ran away. And then the next time I went, I was with my friend who has always accused me of being a catch-up kid and she is the one who makes me talk to people and it's horrible it's terrible it's awful I hate her but also love her and so she we marched up and she made me talk to her and I was absolutely just a nervous wreck but super happy that I talked to her anyway um this is my I've been on YouTube almost two years, I think, maybe one and a half. It's been a while and I have made, no, it's gotta be longer than that, right? I don't know, somebody look it up. Um, I know that I've made over 500 videos. Some of them were literally for myself. I just wanted to make it. Some of them are specifically for y'all. Folks said, hey, will you make a video on this? Absolutely, I will. Why not? Let's do it. And had a great time. So love that for both of us. <laughs> much of what I make, much of the content that I make is specifically around um, the makeup that I buy, which has been, it's always been a little wonky what I buy, meaning I don't buy like, I don't buy a lot of high end. I do buy a lot of drugstore, but I also buy a lot of like independent things, things that are, they interest me. And that's the only reason why I buy them. And so sometimes I I will have like either the first video or the only video on that product because ain't nobody else buying <laughs> and talking about it. And so I have been very excited for the things that I like. And so some of y'all have found me that way. So welcome. Um, I learned what I learned. I keep learning every day about makeup products and how to use it. Sometimes we learn together and that's great. And so that's, it's just, it's a learning experience. That's why I do this is because I like playing with makeup. It is my meditation time for myself. It's where I ground myself. It is soothing to me, calming to do makeup. It is my me time. I love it so much. And like when I go on vacation, I would, I would pack this whole room if I could <laughs> and just play in it all day long uh, because it is that relaxing to me. Let's set our face with some stuff while I tell you a little bit about my, my family. So I have um, been married to Mr. Mugwomp. 13 years. We are on our second marriage, not to each other. <laughs> we, we married other people first and then we changed our minds <laughs> and now we're married to each other. So we've been married 13 years and we met online and not through a dating online scenario. Not that there's anything wrong with that but neither of us were attempting to date and here we are we were playing a video game online and we then met in person he lived in minnesota i lived in north carolina so we had to 
fly in an airplane to see one another. And we got married. And here we are. I will, um, at some point, I want to, like, sit down and actually tell y'all, like, the whole story because it's fun. But currently, <laughs> we live in North Carolina. Um, we've lived in Minnesota. We've lived in Missouri. And now we live in North Carolina. And I am in Greenville, North Carolina, which is about, you know, an hour from the beach and two hours from the Triangle area, the center of the state. So we are in Greenville. We, I have lived here before in my life. And this is his first time living in North Carolina. We've been here about four or five years, four, four or five years, something like that. And we like it very much. We love our home. We love our neighborhood. Um, it's a lovely place to live. We live here with our dog who resembles a Jim Henson Muppet. Her name is, her government name is Ellie Mae. But her name that we call her is Tiny. And she's a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, we had a second dog. Her name was Moo. Her government name was Gidget. And Moo passed away last year. We have not gotten another dog because Tiny acts like a fool. So we're going <laughs> to stick to the one dog house because uh, Tiny's a fool. You also might have a chance in my videos to hear her snoring because she is a Yorkshire Terrier but also apparently needs a CPAP. I don't know. She's just, she's loud. Um, sometimes she comes up to see us. She's not in here now. She's a dog bed on the floor right back there. She's not here now, but also because Mr. Mugwump is down the hall, she's probably with him or at the front door because the sun is still out. So she tans during the day. She has no fears of melanoma. And I, uh, I just let her. So she's, she's here around. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I'm going to use a product from my Beautyless Lucky Bag now. This is the Vanessa Myrick's Groundwork to find a Neutrals palette. Um, and I want to use, I want to use one of the, the, the putty shades for my brows, but I'm trying to decide which, which one would be most appropriate because I'm a little worried it's going to get too dark too quick. By the way, somebody in the comments of my Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing said <laughs> that I don't look like the kind of person that would be excited for this palette. Boy, howdy. Let me tell you, um, I was very excited for this palette. Number one, I am obsessed with Danessa Myricks. She is amazing as a makeup artist. Two, I don't have any of her palettes. I have other products of hers that I absolutely love, but this is my first Danessa palette, and I am so stoked. Also, this is just a cool concept. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And so the idea that there's a putty and a powder of coordinating colors and that it's neutral, meaning I can use it for a variety of things around my face. So excited, but also just she is so innovative and I love it. So yes, I know. Um, do I also have glitter palettes and rainbow colors? Absolutely I do, but I also go to work. So <laughs> that's the other thing. A little more about my family. I think I've chosen, I'm going to use chiseled. Let's, let's hope. Um, I have two sisters that are full sisters, like biological sisters. Um, and I have two stepsisters and a stepbrother. So quite a large family of siblings. My, my sisters and I are really close. We hang out. We, since high school, we have hung out with each other as friends. Like we actually like one another, which for some people, it was a little weird already in high school because we were teenagers and we like, yeah, we fought and stuff, but like not like we actually like, like we were in each other's friend groups. I lived with both of my sisters as a young adult in college. Uh, my first dorm room was with my older sister. Um, like, because I wanted to live with her. Um, I love them so much. They are my ride or dies, faux show, and they are, um, they're both subscribed to my channel. So hi. I think my younger sister was my first subscriber. I'm pretty sure. And she stalks me whenever my video goes up. She is almost the first viewer every time. And I can't believe she's watched all of my videos like by choice. I don't make them. I don't. I really don't. I promise I don't. But she's 
she's funny. This is actually a really nice color, the chiseled. I'm gonna go a little bit, let's go one, let's go one darker. Let's go to sculpted and see if we can't like really, really brow up here. Oh yeah, baby, there we go. Um, but anyway, I hang out with my sisters on purpose. Still do. I would choose them every time to hang out. Um, I have very few friends. I am an introverted person, we've discussed. And so I don't, I don't like to leave my house. I don't like places where people are. I don't like meeting new people. Um, like in the real world, I don't like any of that. It's, um, a problem. Not really a problem. I guess if, if my goal was to meet a bunch of people, it would be a problem, but that is not my goal. I'm one of those people that I have few friends. I love them all dearly. I would die for them. They would, I push them in front of a bullet for me, you know, that kind of thing. And I am happy that that's it. That's all I need. That's really, I use the putty for both shades. That's really pretty. Nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of brow gel in them and then I'm done. That's nice. Um, I have um, always liked being home. As a child, I it was an avid reader. As a very small child, I still am an avid reader and I would rather read than do anything else. That's me. If you are like gonna tempt me out of the house it would be for like let's go to the bookstore i'll buy you whatever you want <laughs> it would be for that but even then i don't know if i would really want to go not really but i'd go if you make me go mr mugwump loves eating out at restaurants i hate it i absolutely hate it so when i go it's because i love him so much that's why my okay so let's let's talk job so I have, I have a job, <laughs> I really do. And it is, um, it's a weird one. Um, it's not really comparable to much else. Like I, I am, um, I work in a healthcare revenue cycle company. So I work for a company that helps healthcare organizations, so hospitals and clinics and all, pay get paid by their insurance companies for their patients. And I work at a fairly large company doing that. But I am, I have a weird role. I am mostly in the software part of that. So I support the people who are working at that company in how they use the healthcare software. I'll put it that way. So it's a weird job and I love it. I have a team of folks that I work with. I love everybody I work with. I will, they're gonna have to drag me out of this company kicking and screaming because of the people that I work with. And so I love it. I get to work from home. Before I started my channel though, I was a consultant. So I flew all over the United States and worked from hotels and from hospital organizations and healthcare organizations, um, from their IT department and things like that. So I have been uh, a lot of places and seen a lot of things, but I am happiest at home. So when the Panini hit, I was ecstatic to become a remote worker. I've, I've rem I have worked remotely in other positions before, but I was super excited to be home. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss blush palette in Nectar, which is the matte blush over here. That is what we're gonna use for blush today because it came in my beauty last night, man. The bronzer I used is not even a bronzer. It's the one I'm panning. It's a pressed powder from the Dollar Tree back when it was actually a dollar for the stuff in it. And it's weird, but I wanna pan it because I love it. I'm going to keep blending, so no worries. So, I work remotely from home. So does Mr. Mugwump. So, he's down the hall that way working. I have called off for the... No, I haven't. I just quit early today. It was 4 o'clock. It's a Friday! So, I'm done. If anybody's watching for my work... No, I didn't. I'm at work right now. I'm just kidding. Um, we are really cool at my job as far as what you wear, how you look... 
as long as you do your work, you're good. And so some folks in my past lives, um, when I was a consultant, I had whatever color hair I wanted to. My hair is currently black to purple. And some folks in like, especially in the, re the women's restroom, I would get, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. I wish I could, you know, have my hair whatever color I wanted. And I was like, you can, you gotta quit your job. <laughs> Like in America, there are a lot of places that will not let you have fashion color hair. And I was like, I ain't going to work in any places. And so I don't. <laughs> so I have whatever I want. I wear whatever I want. Um, it's, as long as it's not offensive, nobody cares. And I love having the ability to express myself through my fashions. But also in my makeup, in my hair color choice, things like that. That's, that's actually really important to me. Um, I was very much the kid in high school that dyed her hair, that, you know, I pierced my face real early. That's why we got scars, but it's, you know, it's, that's who I, that's who I've always been. I've been this person all along. The other product we're going to use on our face is the Natasha Denona Pastel Pixel Glow Highlighter. And it is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. It, see, it has weird shifts. It's so pretty. I have been wearing it all week and so let's wear it together today right it is it turns out to be like a light gold which is fine gold is not the undertone that i love in a highlighter uh pink or champagne like no undertone at all is my favorite color of undertone in a highlighter but this one is beautiful and it is light enough for me to wear which is lovely because i have a very light skin tone the thing across the bridge of my nose i think my CPAP, which I do wear, um, rubbed it last night funky. So I don't know what happened. We'll have to readjust straps tonight. As you do, I'm going to blend and then we will spray our face. Where, um, where do I work? Not going to tell you. And that's because, but I am very happy to talk to anybody about getting into my line of work and things like that but where I work is the thing that I will keep to myself just like where I live I mean I live in a town the end there's a lot of people here um I do have a number of hobbies that I talk about quite frequently on my channel so if you also enjoy these things you're in the right place if you don't and you want to learn more about them boy howdy I can tell you about them um I <laughs> I am a reader uh, and I read prolifically I read quite a wide variety I enjoy romance a lot and have like my whole life but I also really enjoy fantasy and some science fiction um, mystery. I really enjoy that, especially if it is paired with any of the above. I also enjoy historical fiction and I am also uh, a past English literature major. And so I also read, you know, classics and things, um, and enjoy, actually enjoy them. So that's a thing that, you know, um, you, I read all kinds of things. So if you have recommendations of books and such, I will absolutely take them below. Um, but also I talk about like what I've read and what I'm currently reading and, you know, just there's that. Um, and tell you whether or not it's a, or, a, you know, that kind of thing. All right, let's move on. I'm moving on to eyes, I promise. That face looks gorgeous. Oh, I said I was going to spray. Let's not forget to spray. Um, what are we going to use? Let's, we're, I'm almost finished with the old Morphe. It's like a baby, not baby, it's like a deluxe size of the continuous setting mist. I don't hear anything, but it's obviously still coming out. So there we are. We spray. So reading is a thing. I have a library in my house that I read on my Kindle. I have Kindle Unlimited, but I also really enjoy physically holding a book. I always have. Um, and so that's, I, I have quite a number of books. This is my entire collection for my whole life, plus my husband's books. And he is also a reader. He reads them only on his phone now. But when I married him, he also read physical books most of the time. Um, 
before that and then he got into like e-reading he reads on his phone um prolifically as well and yeah it's a newer thing that i've been obsessed with is <laughs> watching korean like dramas korean rom-coms Korean shows and Chinese because I've gotten also in those not really ventured into Taiwanese or Japanese yet but I'm sure that's coming but it's probably heavy k-drama then c-drama then we'll get to the others at some point and so let's discuss that while I do my eyes with this is these are all matte so I will pull like a shimmer or a glitter or something from somewhere else because I really enjoy I don't know that I've ever done an all matte look, y'all. So I can't say I don't enjoy a matte look, but I love shimmer glitter gloriousness. I would smear my whole face in it if I could get away with it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do something. This is probably the world's cheapest brush. I don't even know where it's from, but I think it's gonna work really well. Oh, I have a new brush from Sonia G. We'll use this one today too for this came in the Beautylish Lucky Box. That's great. Oh, don't let me forget. Help me remember. I've got a Hindash eyeliner too to use. So we'll try that out for the first time today too. I think it's black. Pretty sure it's black, which is great. Okay, working on eyes as we talk. So K-dramas are my latest thing. I started watching them last year and I have very much enjoyed like every single one that I've watched. The only one that I didn't continue after the first episode was Nevertheless. I did not like the the premise of that. I also read a bunch on Reddit about like like Asian dramas and what I want to watch next. And so I kind of have a running list of what's next and I have to be in the right mood. So I'm a mood reader, mood watcher. And if I'm not in the mood, I'm not going to do it. So there are times in my life when I have like 13 books going and sometimes there's only two or three. So it just depends on in what mood I am and how motivated I am to finish the thing. We're going to go in with the chiseled thing that we went in with our eyes. We're going to do the same, I mean, with our brows. We're going to do the same thing on our eyes. So I really enjoy um, rom-coms. I really enjoy super fluffy, silly stuff, but I also enjoy fantasies. Um, currently watching the King Eternal Monarch. There is, it's a parallel universe one. I like that. I do like time travel. I do like body swaps. I like all those kind of silly tropes. I really enjoy those and have liked them a lot. Um, I even like, I, I like the gender bending ones. So like Coffee Prince. Um, I like Mr. Queen. Um, and the one I just finished was the King's Affection. Wow, that was good. Um, that was really good. So, I really enjoy watching those and the slow pace is great. The, there's not a lot of anxiety. Um, now some of them like, um, Flower of Evil was pretty intense at times. I mean, it's, it's, it, can be a straight up, that was a straight up like suspenseful thriller at times, but it wasn't full on. And I have, I have anxiety um, as a diagnosis. <laughs> so, so when there is, when there's some added anxiety into uh, a, a show or a book, I'm not always okay with that. Like I'm not it's not easy for me. I'll put it that way. And I want my entertainment to be entertaining. So I do not like horror things. I don't like um, super scary things. I'm not a fan. I'm already scared enough of just everyday life. <laughs> already scared enough. You can absolutely use these products lightly and gently and get a natural looking look. I love this. I'm going to go a little harder on the color, but this is absolutely beautiful. That's so pretty. I'm going to Oh, I don't know what color I'm going to use. You know what? We're just going for it. Let's use some stone, which is the grayer shade. Same, br I'm just the same old cheapo brush. Um, so K-dramas, awesome. Reading, super awesome. And I've never like actually like been in a real book club or anything like that. Again, the introverted, I don't necessarily talk to other humans about what I read for the most part. I don't like that. Um, I do, I do like reading about what other people read and what they think of it, like reviews and again, like things like Reddit, 
Um, if y'all have recommendations of things, I absolutely do enjoy reading that, but I don't enjoy discoursing about entertainment. I don't know what, I'm, who knows. I'm going to go underneath my eye, which I hardly ever do, but for y'all today, I'm going to do it today. We're going to do a lower lash line. I know who am I, who am I? I also have a healthy obsession and respect for baths. You're like, what is wrong with you person? That's a weird thing to say, except it's true. Um, I take a bath almost every day, like full on hour long bath, almost every single day, <laughs> which can seem like a lot to some people, not to me. I have, um, I also have fibromyalgia, so I am in uh, chronic pain. And one of the things that I have found that helps immensely is a hot bath with Epsom salts and things like that. So all of my fellow Spoonies out there, um, hi. And also, I get you, boo. So I have a morning bath most days. And if I don't, then I usually have an evening bath. You know, it's a thing. I'm just building up slowly some pretty colors that are natural into my crease and blending it out. I'm just having a great time. This is so pretty. It's so pretty, y'all. Um, I pulled my new neutrals from Gloss Gods ugh, to see maybe one of these shimmery things would be lovely on the lid. And they are a little bit warm, but we can make one of them work. Unless there's another something that I want to use. Hold please while I look at other palettes. Because that's what I want to do. Ooh, I've changed my mind. I think I want to use... This is the Muse palette. I think I want to use this shade antique. It is beautiful. Let's try it. Let's try that. When we're going to use our Fanga. This is from Cosmic Brushes, which I think they changed their name maybe. I don't know. Question mark. <clears throat> I'm going to just go ahead and, oh my gosh, it's a dual chrome in like all kinds of shiny things. So I'm going to put it on my lid and then it feels like nothing. There's no chunkiness. You cannot feel there's no grit. It's just the smoothest shade. Man, that's pretty. Um, and then I do shimmer above my crease in the front because I have hooded eyes and I like to see the shimmer in the front. You do you, baby. Wherever you want to do your eyeshadow, you do you. This is just Leanne's way of doing it and I do it almost every day. So this is flipping like a pink, gold, green amazingness. I don't know. It's just absolutely stunning. It is so pretty. My goodness, that's pretty. Um, so ba bathing is a hobby, I guess. I spend a lot of time doing it. But I also, um, I read in the bathtub or watch. I can watch YouTube in the bathtub. I have a TV there. Why not? And so, yeah. Some folks might want to know, like, what, like, what, what am I, what are my plans with my channel? Like, what I want to do or why, you know, like, we know why I have it. It's to hang out with y'all. But is this something that I am looking to do as a job? Absolutely not. This is not that for me at all. I do not want to do this as a job. I'm going to take my little teeny tiny Sonya G brush. No, I'm not. Hold on. I'm going to use that in a minute. I'm going to line with one of the putties and then I'm going to blend out. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, but I also have the hen dash liner. Y'all didn't remind me soon enough. Okay, maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do the hen dash liner and a smudgy line. Let's do it. I need an angled brush, though. Scalpel. Let's see here. There's one. Oh, it's a BH Cosmetics. It's a little angled, you know, whatever brush. I'm going to go into the black because the black putty. These putties are so cool. Okay, so my channel, let's see. I'd like, I don't want to have goals at all. I just, I just want to make friends and hang out literally. But I would like to continue, shall we get a mirror where we can see? Continue kind of focusing on independent makeup brands that are, a little less known by folks if they're coming to YouTube 
to either learn about makeup or get recommendations, I would, I want to be a creator that uses some of those little known products from the mainstream. Cause this is where I got like a lot of recommendations of what to use or what brands. And I really like Korean skincare. I really love um, some, I really love independent eyeshadow palettes. I like using things that people have put their heart and soul into creating. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate the process of folks creating makeup in, you know, in their home and learning about that and then giving that to us. I don't know. I like it. So I would like to continue to focus on um, just independent makeup. So if that's something that you're interested in, this is a good place for you. And I, again, I don't have any other goals. Like I don't, my channel has grown organically. It will continue to do so or it will not. And I will still be here because this is not about, I'm not, I don't want to be an influencer in that way. That is not a thing that I have any desire to do. I have a job. I work my job. I do it well. And this is different than that. This is enjoyment. This is joy for me. This is not a job. Because I think that once it starts being a job, that things change. And I don't think I want this to change. So, I love the black putty as an eyeliner. Let's use our Hindash actual liner. This puppy is thin. All right, let's go. I have to hold my mouth right, so good luck. I'm gonna go right up on my lash line with this bad boy. There we go, okay. Some other things that I like. Um, I am a huge animal lover, huge. So if you have animals, they're who I'm talking to, they're who I'm coming over to visit, not you. At work, I will, don't show me your babies, show me your animals, you know what I mean? Like, kids are fine, whatever. Animals are way cooler. I got some on my waterline because I'm messy boots. This is a thin little liner. I like that. She is. Oh, I just messed up. Oh, that's okay. So what we're going to do. We're going to smudge her out. Come on, smudge. That worked. Quick smudge. There we go. Look at that. Do we like that? Yeah, we do. We got to clean up some stuff. But other than that. All right, let's use this thing and let's kind of buff in a darker brown into that that line that we just made and then see how that goes let's do that i'm just making this up as i go along i don't know what i'm doing um i know some people when they get on youtube and stuff and they make videos that they've like planned it and they know what they're gonna do <laughs> i'm planning anything i literally come on here and play and hang out with y'all and that's it it's just makeup it washes off and the other thing that i do is make mistakes all the time and then usually fix them with you so that we know what to do to fix the mistake. Probably the biggest thing that defines me as a makeup creator is that I'm always going to try to make it work. Whatever it is, I'm going to try to make it work. Like it is very rare that there is a product that I'm like, I cannot make this work. It's very rare. Sometimes I have to use a product in a different way than it was intended, but I always try to make it work. Like we ain't about to throw away our money here. And we're also, it may not work the way that, that it was intended, but it's doing a job, which it's great. That's really pretty, except for the mess up of liner, but we're going to fix it in a little while. Look at that. That's really pretty. I like... I like how, well, I like how sparkly it is, but I really like how these are maneuverable and blendable, and they're not so harsh that you 
are going to mess up. I love that. I'm a fair person, so sometimes it's difficult with darker colors because they come off too harsh. I don't think this is. So <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm wiped off a little bit, but I want to just blend underneath the old lower lash line, which I typically don't do, but I am going to line a little bit down there with something. <laughs> Let's see what we line with. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Let's use this. This is a pretty, pretty pen. It's a eyeshadow pencil thing, eyeshadow stick, whatever, from Mally from like, I don't know, 1994. It's an antique taupe. It's that color. It's so pretty. And it's like super shiny. Like super shiny and pretty. We'll blend. Hold on. I love using an eyeshadow stick underneath my eye instead of just like a pencil because it's a little bit fatter. So it gives you a little bit of a thicker line, but also um, it blends sometimes easier than a like a pencil or an automatic eyeliner. It's just, I don't know, scrubbier. That's not the word, but you know what I mean. I really like this for underneath the eyes. It's like, I know it's called a crease brush, but I'm down for that. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay. I, what else do I like? I like flowers. I like quiet. I like rain. You know. <laughs> In people, I like kindness and generosity. I mean, like, understanding, I guess. It's our first life, man. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't actually believe in reincarnation, but... It's still my first life. <laughs> Let's do some mascara. The one I've been really liking is, oddly enough, a Catrice mascara. My favorite mascara on earth is Essence Lash Princess. The one with the green writing on it. It's the amazing thing. But Catrice is the sister brand of Essence. And this mascara, which is the Glam Doll. Glam and Doll volume. Holy cannoli, Batman. It is so nice. So I like it. It's not as impactful on the first pass as Lash Princess, but it is really nice. I like it a lot. So that's quite a bit about me. My, oh, let's see. What's my, my favorite movies, Angus, it used to be Harvey. The Invisible Six Foot Tall Rabbit with Jimmy Stewart. Um, as a kid, it was Harvey. That's my favorite movie. But Angus, when it came out in the 90s, became my favorite movie. If you've never seen it, it's a little 90s high school film. Like, and it is, it was the, it came out at a time in my life when I kind of needed something to come out to tell me that there's no normal. That's, you know. And that's what that film does. It's great. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. I don't know if it's streaming anywhere, but it's just called Angus. It's great. Fabulous film. I do watch a, quite a number of movies. I like films. I like going to the movies. If, if, I, if it's not crowded. If it's crowded, I can't stand the movie. I can't focus on the movie. I'm nervous about the people. I don't know. I'm nervous about a lot of things. But that doesn't necessarily stop me from living. So there's that. Do I want a tight line? I don't know that I necessarily want a tight line and waterline. But if I did a black, it would be pretty harsh. But that's okay. I kind of like that look too. Um, my eyes are a gray color. So sometimes they come off a little blue. Um, sometimes they come off darker than that, but it's, it, it, when I tight line and waterline with black, it makes them pop even more, but there's that. Let's do lips. Um, I'm a nude lip fiend. I love nude lips. Love them a lot, but I got a red lippy in my beauty lips lucky box. So do you want to see this on? Yeah. Okay, this is the Mob Beauty. Like, we're, I got the component and the little bullet thing separately. And you put them together, and then it's replaceable. So you pop this out when you're done with it, and then you put a new one in. It's lovely. Like, you know, all compostable, recyclable. It's a beautiful idea for packaging and branding. 
love it so much. And all of their stuff is recyclable. I like all that. Um, this shade is their M62 cream shade. She is a red, but she's like, I would say a cherry red is kind of how I would describe this. Um, not too cool, not too warm. It's not an orangey red, but she's red. So let me just do that thing where I put some in the middle and then I blend it out like a maybe, maybe like an Asian kind of feel. I don't typically wear a bold red lip full on. I can and have, but it's not common for me. I am a new, I mean, I'm telling you, if you could see the number of nude lippies I have, it's disturbing because they're all the same color essentially, but they're all very different. Let's try it. Let's try the little blotty lips. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't know that I want to. What am I going to use to blend it out with? I don't know. Do I want to use a brush, maybe? My fang? The fang. We're doing it. That's not bad. Let's see here. If you've never done this before, you should probably have a brush. Let's use this brush. This is an old wet and wild brush, so it'll be fine. pretty like popsicle lips you know I like it I would if I was gonna wear this I would need a lip liner for sure it's it's real creamy and it's it's a it's a lot like I think this could easily like slip and go, it's it's very creamy it's very nice and soft and pretty but I think it would mogate, you know? So that would be my advice on that. But yeah, I think it's really pretty. If you, especially if you like have a gloss or whatever over top, you can, it's not very glossy, like for sure. It's, it's not super matte either, but it's not super glossy. So I like it, I like it. Um, what do you think? Are we happy with this? I am, I think it's really pretty. And I am so excited to just, this is going to stay on my vanity. I know it because it's every neutral color that I could possibly want to do anything with. And I love it. It's, it's also really a nice brow uh, thing. Could I have contoured with this? Yes. Could I have bronze with it? Yes. But I don't normally contour. Um, I'm not, I don't, I'm not trying to look skinnier than I am because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> But I do, I, I mean, I could definitely use bronzer, um, use this for like a bronzing, like a warm up my face kind of thing. I think this is really cool. I'm so excited about it. The blush is beautiful. The highlighter is beautiful. It's, it's all beautiful. I just got so lucky in what was in my box and grateful that you all hung out with me today to try it on. Thanks so much. Um, if you want to, if you want to, if you, this is our first time, hi. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Let's be friends on the internet. If you like this video, if you'll hit me, hit me, no. If you'll hit a thumbs up, that would help me as well. Um, it helps out my channel and other people get to meet me and stuff. I'm just browsing on YouTube, which is nice. My next video is going to be a haul because I had some things come in and I'm excited to show them to you. So stay on the lookout for that. 
you can do that notification thing. I don't, like I'm not a notifications girly, but if you are a notifications person, knock yourself out. Um, there you go, enjoy that. If you, um, if you have any of these products, tell me what you like about them. And if you are looking for um, recommendations, hang around. All right, I'll see y'all soon.